Welcome to Mid Twister headquarters, another news flash coming to you from Tech City in London. I'm Elliot King and I'm joined by my colleague Itamar Flower. So, Itamar, what is the news this week? Yeah, the news this week is in the gaming industry and Google have revealed their game streaming, so online video game streaming service called Stadia. So game streaming, so just to make sure our viewers are with you, what, what do we exactly do we mean by game streaming? So game streaming is when people can watch other people play video games, uh, be that PC, console, uh, whatever, just playing video games and streaming it online on platforms like YouTube and Twitch, uh, which are very the most popular uh, streaming platforms. So my kids are watching Dan TDM on YouTube and he occasionally streams himself playing Minecraft. Is that what we're talking about when we say game streaming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Minecraft is an example. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so, and so specifically, what are what are Google doing here that's that's different to what's already been done on YouTube and Twitch and other platforms? I think YouTube are or Google are trying to strengthen, um, and I think they're becoming more defensive of the YouTube platform because they're now completely dropping a bombshell on all of these. Uh, on, especially for Twitch and the, the premise of Stadia is a way for people to actually access the game and play as they're watching or whilst they're watching the stream. So how's, how's that going to work? Just talk us through what that means. Okay, so let, let's start with an example. So let's say the example is a, a, a basketball game called like NBA 2K19 or 2K20, whatever. So if I'm on YouTube watching somebody play that game I'll, I can get a prompt come up on my screen that says play. If I click that, within five seconds I'm going to be in that game. Wow. Even the exact same one that that person streaming is playing on um, and wow. be playing with them in real time. So, so at the moment we have hundreds, thousands, sometimes millions of people watching a game being streamed live and we're saying that any number of those players going forward could potentially actually join in mm -hmm. the game in real time. Yeah, potentially. It's it's a question of, you know, the logistics, how many people are going to be allowed to do this. You might uh, try and enter and it'll say, OK, you're third or fourth in the queue and then you can wait until you'll go. But uh, that's that's the basic concept of it is that you can actually play these games without having to install anything, without having to pay for any hardware, which I think is one of the biggest, uh, biggest uh, implications of this. You don't actually need a console. Um, there, there is the Stadia controller that Google have, have released, but apart from that, you don't actually need anything. All you need to do is be using a Chrome browser, uh, doesn't matter, PC, laptop, iPad, uh, Chrome browser, and it has to be on YouTube. Those are the two things. So we're saying that they're cutting out the consoles. Presumably that's going to have a big impact on, on companies like Nintendo and, and Sony and others. Yeah. Um, do, we, do we know what the reaction is yet from, from some of those other industry players? Uh, not right now. We don't know what the reaction is. Um, this kind of uh, concept sounds just so tech, like tech advanced. It just sounds so complex that um, I, I can't imagine, unless people from these companies had insight to this previously, then there will be time where they need to kind of figure out, okay, how is this exactly going to work? Mm -hmm. Because Google, I guess, are uniquely placed to execute something like this, given that they have YouTube. They have wide coverage and they've got the infrastructure. Um, it'd be really, really interesting to see where this goes. Mm -hmm. Do you think it could end up being another flop like Google Plus? Well, there we go. That's that's the million dollar question because Google is not perfect. They have, as you said, Google Plus was a thing that they kind of hyped up a lot, turned out to be a bit of a bust. Um, so it's, it's really just exciting, I'd say is the word we should be using. It's exciting because this is revolutionary. It's like you can, instead of watching somebody play a game, you can actually click and within five seconds you can be in the exact same game that they're playing without having to download anything, without having to pay for any other hardware. Um, so it's exciting times, it really is. So final question then on that point, where do you, what do you imagine the gaming experience will be like for users in three to five years time? Well, based on this kind of principle, what we're seeing is is less requirements for external objects or hardware or whatever, like 
it, we're kind of simplifying this whole process of video games. Back in the day, it used to all be about you had to have owned this console, um, especially when virtual reality came out, you'd have to have VR headsets to play some games. Um, but people, I think they want more simplicity. They just want to be able to, okay, I can watch this guy play a game, I can click this button, I can play it with them. I don't need to invest time, I don't need to invest capital uh, into getting hardware or into installing things. And I think that's, that's where we're going, more simplicity, simple lives. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I look forward to joining you in some sort of gaming environment very <laughs> soon, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Digital Marketing News.